Hi children, welcome to today's class. I hope you all have gone through the notes given and copied it in your classwork notebook. As you all know, along with the quality of honesty, the lesson, the seed of truth enhances the importance of cultivation. Today, we are going to learn a poem titled Seeds, in which the poet tells the experience of sowing a seed and growing a plant out of it. The poem is titled Seeds. Have you ever sown a seed? Let's find out what are the things needed for the growth of a seed. Let's read this poem. A little seed for me to sow, a little earth to make it grow, a little hole, a little pat, a little wish and that is that, a little sun, a little shower, a little while and then a flower. In this poem, the poet says that he has a small seed to sow and to make it grow into a plant, the first thing he needs is a little earth, that means some soil. Then make a hole and put it inside and before covering it with the soil, pat it lovingly and wish for a healthy plant to grow out of that seed. What else does a seed need to sprout? Yes, a little sun, a little shower. That means it needs sunlight and water. Then what should we do? We have to wait for a few days for the seed to sprout. And at last, what will we get? A beautiful flower. Children, can we recite the poem once more? A little seed for me to sow, a little earth to make it grow. A little hole, a little pat, a little wish and that is that. A little sun, a little shower, a little while and then a flower. Let's move on to the activities. Identify the rhyming words in the poem. The first set of rhyming words are So, grow, pat, that. Shower, flower. Go to the next activity. Complete the word web. What is a word web? A key word will be given. We have to write words which give more information about the key word. Here the word is seed. Let's see what are the words connected to seeds. Water, sunlight, soil, and manure. All these things are needed for a seed to sprout into a plant. Let's now do the activities related to the story, The Seed of Truth. Refer page number 22, activity 2. He saw children walking to the palace, dressed in their best clothes. They all held well-grown plants. Pingala stood watching them, Sadly, what will be the thoughts of Pingala? Write down his thoughts. This is the question. We have to imagine and write what would have Pingala thought when he saw the children going to the palace with well-grown plants. All the children are going to the palace with the beautiful plants. How happy they are! How could they grow such lovely plants? I am so unlucky. All my efforts were in vain. I wish I could go to the palace. But how can I face a king without the plant? What will I do now? Refer page number 23. Activity 3. Pingala's father was standing in front of the house. He saw the king's messengers riding towards him. My God, what happened to my son? He thought. One of the messengers said, You are wanted in the palace. Complete the conversation between the messenger and Pingala's father. We have to assume or imagine what the messenger and Pingala's father might have told each other. The messenger said, 
you are wanted in the palace getting so upset or tensed pingala's father might have replied my god what happened to my son messenger might have comforted him don't worry he is safe may i know why i am wanted there your son has won the competition really thank god please come with us to the palace this is a possible conversation between the messenger and pingala's father activity 4 you come across the word disappointment in the story how many words can you make using the letters in the word make as many words and write them below you can find out words like point is ointment words like this the rest you find out this is a work for you to do this week thank you children see you in the next class take care